Welcome back to our Med Smarter Lecture Series, where we're taking a smarter approach to preparing future physicians. Before we get started, if you'll take just a quick minute and click that like button, and also subscribe and turn the bell on so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. Let's talk a little bit about a Jerish Herxheimer reaction. What is this reaction? So this is where we see a flu-like symptoms associated with the beginning or initiation of antibiotics. So what you're going to see here is patients kind of getting those flu-like symptoms. Oftentimes it's going to be uh, after E. coli is detected and treated with antibiotics. Uh, often we see this, it's in the first um, one to three hours. And they're going to see fever, chills, uh, rigor, hypotension, headache, tachycardia, hyperventilation, vasodilation, uh, all these different types of potential flu-like symptoms. And what's happening here really is it's because we're having killed bacteria like the spirochetes or like E. coli that are releasing the toxins from their bacteria into the body and it's now causing these reactions. This can be life-threatening because they can cause a significant drop in blood pressure because remember I said that hypotension was one of the potential side effects and it can then lead us to an end organ injury. So we want to be cautious with that if we do have a Jerish Herxheimer reaction associated with antibiotics. As you can see in this patient, this is gonna be kind of one of those skin rashes associated with a Jerish Herxheimer reaction from a patient that was being treated for a gram-negative infection. If you found this material helpful for your studying, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this video so that more people can benefit from it like you have.